Yo, let's get into it. Y'all should be watching McQueen. I seen the title. I was like, I gotta watch this. They already know his video is always funny. But I got McDonald's. I got some M&Ms. I got some, you know, some good stuff that I'm finna eat. I'm finna smash on real quick while I watch McQueen video and laugh. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. We ain't gonna waste no time. You did. No time. All right, look up. Hold up. Pretty similar to the second channel, but why wouldn't it? It's coming from the same guy, Mega McQueen. We are inside the Aqua Palace right now. As you can see, you got some new additions, but uh, that's kind of a mess. Please ignore that. McQueen's been very busy for the past few days. I'm usually a very cleanly dude, okay? Anyways, that's besides the point. Right now, that don't even make sense. Make sure your house clean every day, boy. That don't even make sense. You lazy. I'm about to go link up with the homie Goldie Man. You know what I'm saying? He's an Instagram dude. You know what I'm saying? He, he makes a lot of money. Then he be spending game, giving game. So he's a fitness influencer. He helps people transform their lives. He's from Cali, and I can really relate to him on a lot of things. We think exactly the same way down there. So I wanted to go link up with him because I love giving you guys game on these vlogs, man. You know what I'm saying? Old, new, and improved version of McQueen. I want us all to elevate together while we're also laughing. Because you know what I'm saying? I can sit there and make you guys laugh all goddamn day. And that's easy for me at this point. I can entertain you guys and inspire you guys, but why not inspire at a whole nother level? Giving you guys the game on how to become the best version of yourself. So anyways, that's exactly what we're going to do. Make sure you guys hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe because this video is going to be good as hell. We're about to change and we're about to go link with the homie Goldie, man. So I'll see y'all later. This is what we're doing over here in Miami, man. You don't even realize how high up on the line. so nice. Y'all don't even realize how high I am up on you. This shit is just beautiful, man. And, and, and it's not even like a trying to flex. I'm trying to do this. The motivation. I feel like I'm on top of the damn twin tower. I got the homie sure, Goldie over there. We're about to start talking. We're about to give y'all some news <laughs> real quick. See, I got the homie Goldie here with me, man. You know what I'm saying? This the funniest. Young Goldie. Okay. Better go follow him. Young Goldie. Mm. Bro, he be on the Instagram just to kick a game, and I had seen the homie like just on the, on the feed, and he was just spitting some game while being funny. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, y'all can really relate to it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They, so, they don't get it. You yeah, know, it's like some dark humor, but you know, for those who know, I be trying to be funny. Exactly, and I can relate to that. Cause my my humor is dark as hell too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I don't mind pissing off. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of scared. To say what they want to say because they want to sit there and like be a people pleaser and hey, you know that's crazy i didn't even think this i was saying was gonna piss people off no, yeah, so this how i talk <laughs> and this how i kick with people i know well, i'm just talking yeah the fact that people got so upset about that i was saying was a shock to me when yeah, I, for real? Yeah, yeah i say it all the time everybody want to be on here because i know dudes on the internet i know them personally they yeah. kick it like i kick it. they be online with a whole different spiel yeah trying to sound say what people what i said is like this you doing all that for no reason and you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. these bras ain't finna mess with you regardless. Exactly. Or it's only a few, a small amount of them that's gonna mess with you anyway. So you might as well be real and get the one who's gonna fuck with you for you. Exactly. Because whatever you putting out to portray, they're gonna expect you to be like exactly. that. Exactly. So you I just hold that up for, for long. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna just be me and then I attract the ones who fuck with me for exactly how I am. Hey. I had told you that in, in my course because I had it separated. But I said, bro, be you, especially when you approach it. <laughs> Don't approach I wanna tell y'all. You attract everybody. Thank you, people that I learned how to show unconditional love, like God said, you know? But once that happens, then everybody is attractive, right? Essentially. Supposed to be trying to be someone else, because when you get on the date and you're not that same, she's exactly. gonna smell that shit. Exactly. Now you just fun with your shit out of the cook. It depends what you want. If you're just trying to get some, if you're just trying to, if you're just trying to get some, now, I guess you could be whoever you need to be to get the if that's all you want. Yeah. If you end up getting the and now you want a relationship, well, who you was to get the <laughs> ain't really who you are. You was opening doors, you was doing all this extra stuff that you really ain't gonna do every day. Exactly. So she gonna find out sooner or later and she's gonna be like, who is this? And then you can't be mad at the woman who feels some type of way. You was faking. Nah, for sure. You was faking and you mad at her because you ain't who I told her to open my door. She was like, open your door. I said, man, you better open my door. When you get in the car, make sure you open my door. No, it was somebody trying to run up on me. Man, make sure you unlock my damn door. Shit, what the fuck? And damn, open up the door. You don't got in the car. Unlock the doors or open up the other doors. Like, crack it open a little bit just so I can, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit easier for me. Might have some bags in my hand or something. Like, sometimes it be self-centered. 
I'm a king too. Shit, I want my door open. Shit. <laughs> you betrayed yourself to be later. Yeah, no, that's you know, Also, too, like it depends on like the type of nigga, like where you at, where your status is at. Because like, if you're on a low status, like, because I remember when I got that point. Just I'm, get the race. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna yeah, have that. Like, second or third day. Hey, I don't know if it was like that for you. Nah, yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't yeah, know if you were like that. That's how it was for me. But once my status so started raising, like, you know, saying the, the time limit became shorter. When, when, when my started. status started to raise up, now I'm the one. But she trying to hit it on the first night. He ain't finna get yeah. this on the first. <laughs> I be hating that. I be like, oh nah. I'm like, this how they be feeling? Well, oh, this is weird. Not, you know, the, the higher my status, the more I wonder, do I want to hit it? Do yeah. she deserve for me to hit it? Because yeah. if I start giving this guy out like it's nothing, yeah. she going to treat it like it's nothing. Exactly. See, a lot of them get tricked out they as if they ain't as valuable as the team. Yeah, exactly. She's want to just as much. Yeah. But she's going to make you believe that her more valuable. Because exactly. if you don't feel like you're valuable, she can get whatever she wants. That's game. That's no game. But if I realize, that's, that's, that's how, if game. I realize how, much, how valuable it is, and I know she want to just as bad as me. Exactly. So now I can play on that. But you know, you can play yourself out and act like it's nothing and chase her. Yeah. Then I make a woman beg me for it. Yeah. She going to be around me so long and I'm just going to act like I don't even want it so long. She going to get to like, what the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's say you get a number or something, <laughs> yeah. and then you link whatever. You're not trying to knock down first night. It depends. It depends on the woman. Depends yeah. how I'm feeling. Yeah. You feel know what I'm saying? Sometimes, but because sometimes I ain't gonna lie, I learned this kind of like in the last couple of years, especially in like the last year and a half. Like the less thirsty you are, bro, the yeah. more the bro, if you if you can get yourself to a level of discipline to where you're not trying to knock down and be super thirsty over the, the they're gonna give it to you faster than you wanted it. You know what I'm saying? Bad. Sometimes. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> That's why you little sister. You gotta treat her like she's a little sister. Don't tell her that, cause y'all be placing titles. They place titles on stuff. So you tell her that, she gonna be like, oh you weird." Uh. So don't say that, but gestures as if. And then she like, "Why well, he ain't really trying to like push up on me like these other men?" Now she's trying to figure out what's going on with you. It's so easy. <laughs> Paid him no attention. What the fuck? Now she's trying to figure out what the fuck you got going on. Right? Now she got to ask you questions, right? Come on now. They be chasing them, asking them questions. Hey, man, man. Call them beautiful all day. This, that, that, that. Man, boy, what? No. That ain't happening. The thing is, if she don't already know she beautiful, you already losing. You got to find you another girl. You're going to be sitting there trying to play catch up. Like, man, anybody got no time for that? I was like, when I go on dates recently, like, especially when I, when I moved to Miami, I realized, bro, that's what it was worth. And let me put this, everybody beautiful. Right? Right. Everybody look good, bro. Everybody look good, bro. Just be honest. Way more in your favor if you just go there and just be in the moment with the and don't even be thinking about knocking down the first night. It, it all depends where you at in life too, because it's like at this point in my life, man, it's so much of a nothing thing. Yeah, it's it's kind of like I ain't even thinking about that. I'm really trying to see if dealing with this woman is going to be worth my, my time, time, what she can bring to the table or not. Yeah. Now, if I'm just something happening, I'm just horny or something like that. All right, but that's not even what I'm coming in thinking about. But if you on that level, man, you got to play for the just to get the man. I ain't mad at you. Oh, yeah, do what you got to do. Yeah, no, you know. Don't do that, man. Don't do that, bro. Don't waste your time, bro. Just keep leveling up, bro. Keep leveling up, and then, bro, you're going to get everything you want. Don't sit there and play yourself, bro. Because that's what's going to end up happening. You're going to end up finding out, and you're going to play yourself. You're going to end up falling in love. The pussy's going to be good, and then you're going to be fucked. Like, stop playing. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts, bro. I think that definitely has a lot more to do with it too now. You know what I'm saying? It's the That's status. Really. Don't, like don't, I told you, don't, I didn't learn game until I didn't know <laughs> nothing about this until I turned 23, nigga, because that's when I blew up on YouTube. I had to figure this out as I went. In the past three years, though, I learned a lot. Tell me what's one of the major things that you learned. He just lied to you about the whole Disney Channel, being the nice guy, and bringing flowers to b****s. And that's a, that's a lie. That's a lie. Everything that a girl tells you she <laughs> won't in a man. Go with eight. Bruh. Oh, man. It's not what she 
want in a man. It's not what she's attracted to. It's a difference between what a bitch likes and what she's attracted to. A bitch gonna sit there and tell you, I want, I like a nice guy. And she might like that on the outside, but she gonna let the asshole knock down. But you, you know, know that's going about it the wrong way anyway. Because when is what you like coming up in conversation? Because I don't care what you like. I am who I am. Okay. No, no. Okay. Feel where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even coming up. I'm never gonna ask a woman, oh, what are you looking for in a man? Because I don't care. Because I'm not gonna conform to that if it ain't me. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna present who I That's what I was saying. So she liked the nice guy that bring the flowers. She gonna let him bust. She liked the guy that drive her around. She gonna let him bust. She liked the guy that got the Burberry with the chain on. She gonna let him bust. She liked the guy that be talking crazy to the women on YouTube. She gonna let him bust. The fuck? They don't care about none of that, bro. Y'all think it's true. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop telling people this type of stuff, bro. Y'all gotta understand that. And it's the same like us. We don't give a fuck. Just be honest, bro. Y'all be trying to put different types of boxes and stuff, man. Come on, bro. Be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you gonna fuck with her anyway. Ain't no, ain't, don't matter what you like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you today like she it? might fuck with the nerdy dude. Tomorrow she wanna fuck with the the white guy. The next day she wanna get the emo. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Next day she want the baller. She might just help the homeless guy out. You know what I'm saying. She might just help him out with one too. You don't know what's going on. Come on now. They get approached by thousands of men a day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to depend, depend on which one you're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, be honest. Come on, bro. It's a whole different world from what y'all talking about. Y'all don't even, y'all really don't even get it. Y'all don't even get it. That's tough. You don't like me? Go on to the next, I'm going to find one that like me. Yeah, yeah. So even asking a woman what she like means that you looking to see what you got to be for her. I'm not trying to be sh but myself. And exactly. That's just how I come at it. And when you realize, man, there's three billion women in this world, you'll start being okay with letting it go. Yeah, exactly. Like, all right, on to the next. I can't wait till we can hurry up and get this interaction over so I could be on to the next. Yeah. I know you're looking for <laughs> right. one out of 99. Let me, let me hurry up and get through you. It's not going to work out between right, us so I can right, get to cool. the next one. The one who I'm looking for. That's see, it. you got to look for the woman who's looking for you. Yeah. Everything else goes sm is smoother when you look for the one who's looking for you. Yeah. yeah. I can remember when I was like 16, 17. We was at the club. My uncle told me, he said, stop looking at that bitch that you want. And stop <laughs> looking at that little funny looking bitch in the corner that's looking at you. Because that woman finna do everything for you. That woman gonna turn mountains into molehills. The woman that you want gonna turn molehills into mountains. You get what I'm saying? That's a huge thing. Like a huge saying. You gotta like who like you. That's like one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, there was some pimp. He was being interviewed. I think on DJ Vlad or some shit. He was just like, choose the bitch that, that wants you, not the one you want. You know what right. I'm like, he's like, because the bitch that you want gonna make you do all types of things. So many all types of headaches and this and that. You still might not even hit. But yeah. if the, you gotta she, hit all the kind of backflips. Really she gonna do whatever the f you say. She gonna be submissive. Right. And you're just a nigga trying to go for the baddest. A lot of times we fuck themselves up because they're not even in the position to pull the baddest. No. You ain't got the confidence right. You ain't got the money right. You ain't got the status right. And you trying to go for the baddest. And you wondering why you can't bag nothing. You know what I'm saying? But that's true. I mean, I've been a victim of that too. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I didn't really start getting bad until I became Megan McQueen. So I, I mean, like, let's let's break that down because I don't even I don't even it's I, I don't even like that. I don't even like the framework about that. What you What's mean? a bad though? <laughs> right. Yeah. Break it down for a second, please. Because we probably been getting those since you was a kid, bro. You tripping right now? <laughs> he tripping, ain't he? He tripping right now. What's a bad? No, what right, is the value that, of a bad? Stuff? The right. value for me has changed over years. No, okay. First, so, so let me ask you: What is the value of having a bad? For me, it's like what the what value can bring? How are you upgrading my life? Because it's not enough anymore. Exactly. So then that, that goes to my point. The value that a woman brings to the table makes her bad to me. So, so the looks ain't even gonna be the first thing. It's not probably Because what, what do looks do for me? Exactly. It gives me some status when I go out and other dudes see me with you. And that's the and I No it don't. That's a lie. No don't don't no dude care what girl you with. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All he thinking about is I'll steal your <laughs> That's all he thinking. When y'all break up, I'm gonna go pipe her down. I can't wait till y'all get into an argument. He ain't he ain't looking at you like, oh man, he got a bad looking girl. I mean, they don't care about what you got. It's not even you. You eliminate. You cropped out of the picture. When he see your girl, he just see your girl. He don't even see you. You cropped out. I'm telling you that right now. He don't see you. The fuck? You think he looking over at you like, oh, she with him? Hell nah. I'm like, shit. That's her brother. <laughs> I'm already calling that. Oh, that's her uncle. Who the old man with you? You should like my boy. Oh, that's your boyfriend. Oh, my bad. You see what I'm saying? Nobody worried about that. You're like, you tripping right now. And I'm saying, y'all think it's just tripping. <laughs> Y'all trip. I don't give a f exactly. And if I don't give a f about the opinions of others, then really I just got dead weight sitting here. Cause y'all put that before everything. I'm putting what a woman's doing for me before everything. You could call me what you want, but the, you see, with me, she doing something for me. She ain't giving me no problems. This woman treat me. So that's the question. What is she doing for you? 
What is she doing for you? That's the question. That's the real question. What is she doing for you? Right. Like a god. Yeah. So she bad to me. I don't give a fuck what she look like. I could get her lips done, her face done, her uh, teeth done, her teeth done. I could get all that done. Right, right. You got. You know what I'm saying? She could look just like that bad. Exactly. So why would I take her back? Yeah, that sounds nasty. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that nasty. So you gonna you gonna custom you gonna um, build you a. Ew, that sound nasty. I would rather want somebody natural. <laughs> From God, you say you gonna build him one. Ew, you nasty. He one of those. You know what that feel like? It don't feel the same. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It don't feel the same. <laughs> That's tough. Hey, everybody want a bad bitch? Why? I want to treat me right, because your life would be hell with a to look good, but giving you problems every two seconds. I can't live like that. Yeah, so that's... however you treat me is your status to me. She a 10 because she treat me right. And that's okay, what more okay. dudes should be having that in their mind instead yeah. of I just want the okay, baddest. Yeah. Well, to redefine what bad is to you. Exactly. You see, like, I don't think... That do define a number, though. I ain't gonna lie. You start looking at a different your perception of her would be different, too. Yeah, yeah. Same with the guy. Like, that's why y'all be like, why the fuck? Why the fuck she dating him? Nigga probably sweet, bro. Like, not sweet, but like, you probably cool with her. Like, like she like the things he do for her type shit. Compared to somebody else. It's the same thing. Literally. You can understand until you get to a certain level of status, though, because it seemed like you learned the game real early on. Yeah. And I learned this shit as I went. And I was a late bloomer. Yeah. And then it's the fact also that I built women in, in the in the lifestyle that I was living. I would build a woman from nothing, get her all this stuff, get her to look like this, and go walk around and, and, and you know get stuff from dudes who have the money. Yeah. So I have the eyes and, and, and like X-ray vision. I can see that it's changed. Oh, because I done bought all that. Yeah. Oh, she's really not that cute. You yeah. take all that shit off her, she just regular. Honestly, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, you know yeah, you're right about that too. You can definitely see it. You definitely can. That's why most of the girls they be looking at the shoes. They be looking at the shoe. They like ah. She like nah, that ain't my type. <laughs> Sure, you know about gratitude and how much it raises your oh, vibration. Instantly, you feel like your, the level of your gratitude also pretty dependent on where you're at in your environment. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Because like, because when I moved out here, bro, and I start seeing all this water and a like, beautiful weather, Man, bad I'm, everywhere. That's why I came here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I came here. I was just my elevation. My vibration was just elevating. Me. Yeah, exactly. I can see it. I can see it, y'all. You know, they say gratitude is the key to infinite intelligence. I believe that. That's why I got, you know, I do my morning routine and gratitude is a part of it. Yeah. Because just putting yourself in that high frequency, your frequency is what you frequently see. So whatever your vibration is, is what you're going to see. When you're in a high vibrational state, you see solutions, you see how it's going, exactly. you see opportunity. When you're in just a fucked up vibrational state, man, this shit ain't bad. This shit ain't bad. Like that. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I be hating this shit. I'm like, nah, I don't only like yeah, so, so whatever you can do to put yeah. yourself in that high vibrational state is what you need to be. And so from my car to where I'm living at to all of these things, I try to curate an environment that's going to force me into that high vibrational state. That's why I work out early in the morning. People exactly. be like, why you do it? I, for the mind state that it put me in. Exactly. So the rest of my day, I'm starting up here. Yeah. And I said this in my video too, bro. I said, that's why I work out in the morning. You get them endorphins pumping. My, yep. It sets yep. the tone for the rest of yep. the day. Yep. And it's crazy because I work out every day. I only day I don't work out is on Sunday. If I go. Hey, same here. <laughs> A day or two without working out, it makes you realize how much working out helps. Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? Too many days without working out, I start getting depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start feeling oh my weird. God. And it's funny because I do it so much. Sometimes I don't even realize it, even though I've done it a hundred times. Exactly. And then when I finally get back into the gym, I say, oh, that's oh, yeah, what was exactly, wrong. Bro. Exactly, bro. You know, exactly. I'm like, man, I ain't no, feeling facts, it today. Bro. Then I work out, be like, yeah, that's bro. What it was. That's facts. And honestly, bro, like, it's crazy I because, like, like when I, before I even really got super into working out, bro, like, now it's a lifestyle, right? But, like, yeah. before before I got into it, I fell into the whole dumbass mindset of, like, trying to look good, trying to do it first. Because I feel like if you're proud, Primary, for me at least, if your primary reason to work out is because you trying to look good, I feel like that's because you trying to look impress good. other people. And yeah. for me, I never gave up about other people enough to sit there and, and, and use that as a primary motivation every day to go to the gym. So nah, I'm going to go for two weeks and then fall off too. Nah, I have to look good. Maybe to just pick up a couple of cars, you know, just a couple of things like that. Yeah. And show the strength of God, you know, stuff like that. You know, superhuman strength, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be to look good. I mean, that's beside the point. That's the ego type of thing. Who cares? <laughs> that's not why you work out. Trust me on that. <laughs> that's not why you better your life. Trust me on that. That is not the key. 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? Trust me on that. <sighs> Gyms fall off, and then honestly, bro, now like I get so addicted to how good the gym makes you <laughs> no, feel. Yeah, that's the reason I go. Like, I feel like I need that. If it's, I don't get, if yeah. I don't get, that I'm not gonna be able to function right. Yeah, I ain't, you know gonna, I ain't gonna function right. I ain't gonna feel right. Yeah. but I can not say that's you vibrate you differently beautiful. when you like the way you look too, though. For sure, no, but, I, but don't, don't get the fuck up. That's a byproduct of all the other, exactly. all the that's better that's benefits. The, exactly. The For better sure. benefits is that you know, and, and if if people start because they want the nice body, if you got to start superficially like that, then okay, eventually you gonna see all the real benefits. Exactly. Way deeper than that. Exactly. That's the cherry on top. Way everything deeper. else, the mental and everything else, is way exactly way more it's beneficial. These ain't even letting their body, they, they muscles recover enough when you go to the gym every day. I'll probably be bigger if I didn't work out every day. Yeah. So what happens is you uh your body will crystallize and it turns into steel, but most people don't work out that long. They end up stopping or they end up uh messing with their progress by doing something by messing it up. I ain't gonna say too much, but yeah, <laughs> I'm leaving that. that. Y'all figure it out. But I need to go. I need to go. I need yeah, to start well, my day. I need body. to get on that's that high vibration. No, that's facts. Because I be telling you, kingdom is if you look at the whole, uh, no, every time you go to the, I know every day. Hey, you know that's kind of bad. I'm like, look, I don't give a. Like, it can't be that bad. It, yeah. goes, it can't be that bad. Yeah. Too. Like I said, I can't go without the gym. Yeah, that ain't like the I got a tattoo recently, but that's why I probably all this shit kind of peeled off. It was like, yeah, yeah you can't be working out for like a, two weeks. I said, oh, no, that ain't going to work, bro. Really yeah. I said, I'm gonna have, I said if, it, if, if I got to come back and you get uh, touch it up, I'll do that because I'm going to the gym, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I can't not. You know what I'm saying? I got to go to the gym, bro. I can't even remember the last time I didn't go to the gym for, for two, two weeks. For two weeks is crazy. What crazy. the f I feel like my life is falling apart. Oh, me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the f um, I can't believe most of my life I wasn't going to the gym every day now. Yeah. This is right style. That's crazy to me, yeah. bro. Most people is thinking, let me get to a point where I ain't got to go no more. And they don't realize, like, no, nah, you got to keep this up. Exactly. This is what it is. Yeah, but I, I honestly, to a certain, when you get to a certain <laughs> point and when it becomes so habitual, you want to go. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I know you got a lot to spit about this, this time of right here. I, 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 I was just thinking, I hate, I hate, I hate a combative ass. I hate a combative ass because and the only reason why I wrote this down is because some had DM me and this bitch is bad as f and she was a fan of me because you know how earlier you was talking about you gotta choose the to choose you right so <laughs> she was choosing on me she was commenting on my videos and, sh and telling me how much she f me and she went on my pictures and told me I'm cute this that with the rules so I DM'd her I'm like what's up I remember we on the phone FaceTime whatever the bitch is bad bro and I'm talking to her bro and bro immediately she just start combating everything I'm saying I'm start talking about how like I be hating her like a man's life is completely, totally different. Like you don't even say nothing. I told you, you gotta let them talk. That's them how they dad was doing. What, what, they, what your mom at? <laughs> how your grandma doing? Just talk to her about her shit. Don't let her get into your shit. Cause when she start getting your shit, it start getting annoying. I'm just letting you know that right now. Make sure she talking about her shit. What you and your friends did? What you ate today? Make sure she talking about her. Just get to know her. Don't worry about her trying to get to know you. Cause that's man, ooh. Oh. And leave you a mystery. She like, wait a minute. Now she curious. Different from a woman's, and she was just like nitpicking every little mother thing. Like, nah, I think a woman's life is just as hard. I said, no, it's not. You got me. F Are you for real? And I was giving her logical mother points. No, mm -mm. she ain't gonna see the point. You know it. Mm -mm. That ain't how you talk to them. You know that. And that's when they start calling you sassy and stuff like that. Cause you're going back and forth like stupid. Why would you even do that? They're not gonna understand. There's no point. And I'll be like, I need you listening. Well, you're wasting your like time. They can never do this. I say, listen, before <laughs> you respond, I'm gonna give you this logical point. What I want you to do is give me a logical point back. They can never give me no logical no. motherfucking point. It's always just no. I think that's how it is because I believe it. That's not what the it is. No. Two plus two is four. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Even if you feel like it's six, two plus two is four. A combative woman aside, and we're going to talk about that in a second. Why is you sitting trying to have a logical conversation with a, with a woman? Right, right. Like, you just stupid, bro. Like, that's the dumbest thing you could do. Like, bro, you ain't learned by now? I'm like, come on, bro. Like, that ain't your homie, bro. You can't sit there and have a lot. Like, you can't say, oh, Jupiter, it was this temperature today. She don't know nothing about that shit. She can't have no logical conversation about the world, my nigga. Like, be serious. It's like, that's a waste of time. What are we going to eat? She ain't on, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to eat. You, you might as well already had decided in your head, hey, man, we finna go to this place and that place. What you trying to get? Or go ahead and look up what you want. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and decide because, bro, don't. Mm -mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't even. You see, you're asking for for trouble. <laughs> yeah. I don't see any situation where I'm like, oh, when it's put over here, we finna talk about some real. You know, <laughs> some real I mean, shit. Shit. That's not. You can do it with your grandmother or maybe your mom's because they like more mature and they only lived a lot of life, so they got they got a little bit of information for sure. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? You gotta wait until they at least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My initial thing, though, it's just like sometimes you just like get into a conversation. Normally, it's, you should be talking with them. It's not like I went into the phone call thinking like, yeah, I'm going to have a logical you, conversation. You, you know what you I'm going to cut it off, too. I'm going to just think like this, like, what is the benefit of this conversation with this bro? With this part I'm, I'm sitting here. That's a conversation I might have with you. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we should sit down, shoot this. You right. know, talk about, you know, man, it's like this woman like that. Yeah, yeah. I finna have that with a woman because I already know where she coming from. I already know she's not going to agree. I already know she's going to say she's just going to piss me off. I already know she's going to come from her feelings that's illogical. So why am I even going to put her in a position that's going to piss me off? We not even talking about that, man. Mm-hmm. All right, what, what you want to watch on Netflix? Let's yeah, all right. Oh, you put yourself in that position. I already know she's not going to agree. Yeah, you're right. So, you, you, expecting, so, you expecting her to be logical. If I wanted somebody to be logical, I'd come and talk to you about that. Yeah, yeah, okay. But listen to me, though. You can't sit and act like sometimes you be talking a bit. And she be talking about some that you have to put her in check. You know what I'm saying? You have to put her in check. And sometimes give me give me an example. Like for example, like if I'm kicking with her, like, like for example, this name. Mm, don't even put him in check. You you, you should have watched enough anime. Look at the men on the anime. What they do when the women acting out? They just stand there and let her do what she do and say what she say. Let her get all her emotions out. Let let her, let her let her cry river. Let it all out. You done? Let her get it out. And then you can respond if you want to, or like he said, you don't want to have this conversation. Really. I'm just gonna be honest, you don't want to have a conversation with her. Let her know you understand. Boom, hug, kiss, whatever, whatever. You know, boom. Nah, don't get too deep into it. Don't start talking about what you think, cause uh. <laughs> and then let it go. Don't think in your head, oh, this girl. I mean, of course, you're probably gonna be like, she's stupid, or oh, I don't know why she think that. But don't, don't. Why you think that? Oh, well, you should do this. No, no, no. Don't, don't even do that. Just cool. If that's what you think, you got what you think. We disagree. Cool. That's fine. You don't say that out loud. Just think that in your head. Like, All right, cool. And let it go. Let it go. Don't bring it back up a week later, a month later. Don't do that shit. Cause that's some, that's some girl stuff. Like, don't just let it go. Move on with your life. Like he said, what's on what's, what's on the game? The game right now? <laughs> like, just switch up the subject. You want me to cook tonight? What's going on? Like, what are we going to have to eat? Like, just switch You trying to play zombies? You know what I mean? Just, you in the play? I'm going to teach you how to play. Come on, let go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just switch, just switch it up to anything, bro. Like, don't even get into it. Right now, we watching a, a movie. She has said something about how I have a pretty ass pussy. And I was like, I don't think... That pretty, I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, was like, I, I, mean, I, mean, really... I mean, I mean, I mean, hold up now, hold up now. I've seen some. I mean, hold up now, hold up now. I've seen some pretty. Hey man, you tripping right there? Them, them things, hey man, it look like a rose. What you mean? How does it? I mean, like sometimes I, all right, whatever. I ain't gonna talk too much. Too much. It's my bad, y'all. I, I don't sit there and look at a. a and be like, that's super pretty. Right. Right. So what did right. the so she just randomly said, I got some, I got a pretty Nah, one. not out of nowhere, but it's like, I don't know how the conversation came up, but we were just supposed to go in the bed and like, she was just like, yeah, I got a pretty I was like, honestly, I don't really think. She you know, so I don't, when I'm looking at a woman, I'm thinking about how you know, her fat ass, I'm thinking about how, how curvy yeah, she is, big titties. Know, I don't sit yeah. there and think like, damn, let me see that. For real, I do. Because I want to make sure it look good. Like, if it don't look good, I ain't even going to hit it. You feel me? Like, I don't know, bro. You gotta look at it, bro. You don't be looking at it, bro. I'm pretty sure she look at your thing to make sure it look good. Make sure they you got some weird stuff going on in the bumps and stuff. I'm pretty sure. You tripping, bro. You don't be looking. Make sure, you know what I mean? All right, all right bro. I mean, hey. I would be trying to, hey. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I told her that and she was like immediately offended. She cause the, the strip So she in there getting offended talking about something. What? All the niggas at the damn uh at the strip club always say I have a pretty I said that's cool. They can say that all <laughs> I still don't think I mean it's genitalia. They, oh yeah, for you that. You ain't gotta comment. You compliment her. You talking about it pretty like you ain't gotta tell her that. You thinking in your head, all oh, that shit. Yeah, that shit nice. You ain't gotta say it. I feel you on that. But see, I'll look at it, though. Look at it, I'm gonna be honest. And she was like, what the fuck? Like, arguing all this 
So you know what? Listen, man, I'm not finna argue with you. If you got an issue, I can just drop you off. You can go. And she immediately was like, what? Like, what? You don't even want to, like, deal with I'm like, I'm not dealing with that, bro. I'm not dealing with it. If you have an issue with what the f I'm saying, and it has nothing to do I hear what you're saying. So if she start getting, if she start getting out of control in that situation, what you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna tell you two things. One, I, I feel where you coming from. If I said some ain't this, some ain't that, just go with it. If you trying to f me, you gonna go with it. If you don't want to go with it, then you can get out. But I didn't even put myself in that situation. Say, well, I got a pretty, I'm not entertaining a nonsensical conversation. Okay. Right, right, right. Like, okay. Say some stupid act like that to me. I'm gonna act like I didn't even hear it. Okay, right, okay. And we're gonna start talking about something else. Cause, yeah. Cause there's no <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. You just act like you did. Or you'd be like, huh? She be like, you heard me. Huh? And then you gonna know, do something else. Like or but like that game, there's no way that the conversation right. can go. Exactly. Because the, the only way that conversation go is what the fuck is you talking yeah. about? So either I'm going to put you off by saying that, or we're going to go. I'm not going to have a nonsensical conversation. I'm going to act like you didn't say it and yeah. talk about something. We start a conversation that is something that we can both talk about. Yeah. I'm not entertaining no that, stupid. That, but let's say I want to entertain some stupid. I still expect her to go with whatever I'm talking about. We ain't finna get to argue. You get to argue with me, you done. That's done. it. That's just right. obvious. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we're not gonna argue. If yeah. I even have to say, if I gotta keep arguing with you, or the situation is already done. Right, right. If you already got me feeling like that. Yeah. You could not be here because if you wasn't here, I wouldn't be feeling like this. So you need to remove yourself so I can get back to being myself. <laughs> exactly. Right. Not too far. Exactly. Yeah. Because that's because that's all that's gonna happen, and I know myself, so yeah. I don't even let it get that close. If yeah. I even get to getting that feeling in my stomach, nah, we wait. want your peace. We yeah. wait. We wait. Past the point of you needing to leave up out of here. But I'm sidestepping, but now that you put it like that, I definitely gotta take responsibility. I probably shouldn't even entertain them. Me, I get to clinch my jaws. I get to clinch my jaws. I mean, I'm, I feel like killing something. I'm like, nah, nah, all right. Yeah, this shit dead. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's going on. But it'd be like, what? Like, everything just like hardened up. It's just like, and then you got that thought, like, oh, I'll just, oh, I'll beat their face in. And it's like, nah, all right. I'll leave that up to God. And then God always fixes the problem. Just sit back and relax. And watch the show, right? <laughs> say some retarded shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Exactly. I look like even because where are we gonna go with this conversation? Exactly. Nowhere that I want to go. Yeah. Nowhere that's gonna have a good outcome. So we just going on his side sidestep that book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I be forgetting. You just be talking yeah, about dumb act. Not like going into the mall. You follow them. You ain't gonna go to the other stores you want to go to. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? When you, you know, you can't be mad at women acting like women. And I'm not saying all women act like that. You just got to A lot of women like, dumb as Yeah, yeah, like, they are. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to get mad at you for saying some dumb shit. I'm just not going to entertain the dumb conversation and I'm going to take the lead with the next topic of the conversation. So you felt like it's just, it's it's so lack of entertainment in here that you had to say some stupid shit. Okay, that's my cue to come up with something for us to talk about. Exactly. Yeah, there's no doubt. She be a nose. You heard it on the share dog at the top to the queen, so I don't know. I said, who's gonna do that? And you're not gonna lead it, but that's stupid. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, you're right. It's just like, okay, you, I gotta start being more <laughs> conscious of. You know what? And I wasn't always like this, because I, I used to, man, I used to be quick to flash and smash and this, that, and the third, but just the older I get, and you know, like I had older uncles around me, they were real smooth players. Yeah. Smooth players. I, 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 I Girl, I used to I think it was cool to just be cussing the out and yes. you know, cutting the head and all this, that, and the third. Till I got around some older players and they showed me how to do it smooth. Like, you can bypass that shit and just keep it cool. Yeah, that's. No, nah, facts. You ain't gotta do none of that shit. I mean, that shit ain't no coming back when you don't do none of that. She like, oh, he was actually a good guy. He didn't even hit me. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even yell at me. He didn't even raise his voice. But she ended up coming back because he was so peaceful. If it can be her peace. But also put like logic behind what you say and what you do. You know what I'm saying? Walk the talk, talk the walk. You know what I'm saying? Like Miko was talking about. You can get your money and, and make sure that her and her family good, bro. You in a good position, bro. For sure. You don't have no problems. Game. That's game, bro. Because all you do is get yourself frustrated. Exactly. It's hard to be player with man. Hey, you ever seen, well, you know. if, if you've ever seen somebody shouting at a woman, getting upset with a woman, you always look like goofy. Man, man, you know, that was on next Friday. He like, well, what was it Friday afternoon? He's telling that girl get back in the store. <laughs> Goofy. So, so he used to look like that and didn't even realize. Yeah. So yeah. now I'd be like, man, I ain't never gonna look like this. 
You right. feel me? Nah, for sure. And if it ever get to an argument situation, I don't argue with you. I'm like, yeah. I tell it straight on, I'm not about to argue with you. And that's make them mad. Like, what I need to start doing is what you said. If I see a situation that when she starts talking about some words, but she said, it ends up being some damage, it's going to make me mad or make her mad, I just won't even entertain it. Me, I just yeah, be yeah. like, I'm a good yeah, you know, I like it to some silence. So she knows she said some stupid. <laughs> 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 some stupid no, she said, oh, she's pretty. I'll not say something for a good 30 seconds and let yeah. that feel how stupid she just, what the f she just said was. Yeah. And let her come to her own yeah. conclusion. Let me change the subject. Right. So I ain't even got to. Right. And then when and then when she feel that silence, now she's going to try and make up with it with another conversation. Exactly. exactly. I mean, because right. if you get to tell you stupid, you're going to be in a stupid conversation. Exactly. Talk to your girlfriend about that stupid. Don't yeah. worry. We're not even finna yeah. talk about it. Nah, bro. Fans, bro. <laughs> Nah, that's game though, bro. That's game. I was talking about how men just want to feel appreciated, right? And she was like, I don't like how you said men want to feel appreciated. Everyone wants to be appreciated. Okay, I said, okay, but I'm not talking about everyone. I'm talking about men. I'm a man, so I'm speaking from a man's perspective. Oh, wait, tell me though, how did that conversation come about? Like, what was it? You know, so crazy. Uh, not only do the women do that, some of the guys do that too. I noticed that. It's like, it's like, bro. Uh, Leading up to that conversation, uh, I kind of forgot, kind of but like she was basically like she was just. I was just telling them like, look, I don't deal with girls that don't allow me to leave. If you're gonna sit there and and be combative with me and this and that, because we so she, was, she was already being combative, uh, kind of. But I was telling them my parameters oh, because okay. I, I was telling them my boundaries. Yeah, because she was asking me what I look for in a girl. <laughs> oh, okay, That's okay, what happened. Okay, I was okay. telling, her, I was like, listen, I don't deal with girls that are combative. I don't deal with girls that don't allow me to leave. All men really want us to feel appreciated and respect. And when I said that, she was like, I don't like how you said. I said, oh, what the? F you already? I just said I don't like combative. And now you being combative as hell. And then all of a sudden she started getting all going on and on and on. I said, Oh no, honestly, bro, you and my that's in the moment when I remembered the video you made where you was talking about <laughs> in the middle of the conversation, you like, you know what? This ain't gonna work. It's, if a woman <laughs> said something like that to me and wanted to make a big deal about when you said what, men? Yeah, she well, like, well, I don't like how you said men. I would say, oh, oh, you one of those, huh? She'd have been like, what? I say, oh, you one of those. One of those that I don't like and this ain't gonna work. And I was just left. Like, <laughs> exactly. let, but, but let's really think about it. You know? I understand that. Or you can give them three strikes. You're like, oh, that's strike one. She's going to feel some type of way when you go on strike three and you block her ass. Or you stop hitting her up. She's going to be like, damn, you, you can't text me no more? Especially, like I said, if the vibe is good, all these niggas out here weird. So hanging with some weird niggas, she's going to be like, ooh, I don't like him. Or I don't, I don't, I don't like him. Either. Then she's going to think about you and she's going to be like, ooh, where he doing? Where he at? Da -da 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 -da. Then I had this girl sending me money on Cash App, sending me texts because she didn't have my number. I think she had to block my number. She had a boyfriend or something. So she had to send me messages through Cash App by sending me money. Man, they be on that crazy stuff, man. Come on now. She's going to hit you up in her email. How she even get my email? Like, what's going on? Right? Let's be honest. They be doing some crazy though. <laughs> Just like y'all men out here. So, like I said, both sides is the same. It ain't no difference at all. Any woman who's such, such an irritating person that yeah. she would even feel the need to say that. You're an unlikable person. Exactly. And listen, and the fact that you don't know that and would still say, either you have so little respect for me, you have such little self-awareness that you didn't even know that's not the proper way to respond because you could have chosen any amount of ways to, to respond. Yeah. But you responded like that. <laughs> exactly. You're an unlikable person. I'm not going to change you from who you've been up until this point just because right. you get with me. Exactly. So I would be doing us both a disservice to deal with you because I'm going to just frustrate myself. Exactly. You would like this before I met you. So I want to get with you and then try to change you? Yeah, that's just, oh, that's, yeah. But sometimes girls do that. They be trying to, uh, like, they want to grow with the person. <laughs> sometimes men do that, too. They want to grow with the person. So sometimes it does happen. Now that I think about it, some girl, they told me that. She was dating some dude. They was having so many problems, all this other stuff. But then she was like, but she still like him. She want to work it out with him and all this other stuff. I'm like, she be cool. <laughs> I'm just fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's my ways right now. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, bro. Because when I when I was on the phone with her when she started, and I'm pretty sure uh, we we as men we've been in them situations. Too. You've been with a girl where sometimes it ain't working out, and you just want to work it out. And you take your time. Doing all that, I said, oh, no, I already know where this going to go. She was still trying to talk this down. I said, you know what, listen to me. Look, I got to actually, like, go and do some shit. Like, I'll call you back later. She was just like, okay. So she tried, she knew that uh, I, I was hanging up because she was just being combative as hell. She tried to quickly say, oh, yeah, I got stuff to do, too. Well, I guess I'll talk to you. I didn't have to do. You was on the phone. So if I was on the phone with a woman like that, I would have hung up. Yeah. I, I just, just, I'm over here. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I dropped my phone. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you have to choose in person because I don't want you to get crazy. Exactly, with exactly. Like, like, you know, you this ain't gonna work. I don't want you to get crazy. If you're on the phone, get the f out of here. What? Because I know I'm not gonna f with you. But that's why you don't, you don't give out your number just to anybody and everybody. Like, you don't do that. All right, that's the number one rule. That's why women don't give out their number. Like, they give them, like, the Instagram or something. Like, hit me up on there every once in a while. I might check it. Men got to start acting like that, too. That's what I do, personally, because it'd be too many people. I'm just going to be honest. It'd be men and women trying to hit you up. I'm just being honest. Let's just be right there. <laughs> I know you're not my type. So, yeah. so it's like... Yeah. It's, it's a lot of unlikable women in this world. Yeah. And when I identify, I'm just not... Yeah, exactly. It's just a waste of my energy, and I'm not finna ruin my own peace. Cause I had to go through a lot of red flagged ass women when it came to situations, relationships, all this. Shit, realize like I know they archetype when they present themselves. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so I sure. know exactly. And, and sometimes people, people be trying to tell me like, but when people do change though, and people do uh, update and progress, it just take them a little time. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, cooking rice. Some people really can't cook rice. You know what I'm saying? But if they practice, right? They'll be able to cook it really good. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Uh, for people, it takes years. And, you know, you just got to be patient until finally they'll understand. You know what I mean? The brain got to connect the neurons and the connection got to connect. And it's like, oh, this is what you wanted? Duh. <laughs> like, okay. You be cutting this too quick. No, I don't. You just Duh. don't know. Red flag when you see it. Nah, that's you know what I'm saying? If I'm right, if I'm learning how to ride a bike and I and I ran over a crack and I fell, the next time I get on the bike, I'm gonna make sure I don't hit that crack. It's the same thing with if I see the same over and over, if I see a pattern, you know what I'm saying? You you can you only need to see something a few times before you know it's gonna fuck happen. You know what I'm nah, nah. Cause that's like what people with drinking and smoking. The motherfucker, you know what I mean? All of us like you feel me, we'll do things thousands of times. <laughs> like you gotta stop that, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like that's not realistic what you're saying, bro. People are not realistic like that. You gotta understand people will make mistakes thousands of times before they get it right. Trust me on that. We wouldn't have electricity if it wasn't because of that. Like be honest with yourself, you see what I'm saying? You gotta be realistic. Don't look inside the box. You gotta look outside the box, okay? For the information. Not inside the box, outside the box for the information. So it wouldn't be the obvious answer, obviously. So sometimes people are like, oh, that's not how everybody is. It's not about how it's not about how if this person is one hundred percent the same person as the last person I was dealing with. What I am saying is that she's the same type of person. You first meet somebody, mm -hmm. a woman or a man meets somebody, you coming on your best behavior. You trying to be the best you can be. Exactly. So And then and then it's like you gotta remember that you're not dealing with the people. You're dealing with the energies and spirits. So depending on the relationship of the family, of the lifestyle that came before, blase, 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 everything builds that person up to who you see in front of you at that point of moment in time, right? And and for you to sit there and think you're going to break through that, it's not happening, right? <laughs> it's not happening, right? So it takes time to really be down on that wall until that wall breaks down. And then it's like, boom, oh, now we can see the light, right? But that comes in God's timing. So as a human being, like he said, you can't even, you you literally can't bitch about anything damn near. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you can't change the brain. The brain itself has to connect all the information. And it takes life for people to do that. It takes experience. It takes time. Sometimes you got to go to sleep and wake up until you get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, I'm being honest, y'all. Like, so you got to be patient with people. Like, you got to be very, very patient. Because all of us, you got to think about, um, I always think about all the stuff that I put my mom through. Like, that's that's the best example for me, personally. You know what I'm saying? And, like, me making mistakes in life and things like that, right? I had to bump my head, like, so many times. You know what I'm saying? I had to get in so much trouble just to truly get a real understanding or grasp of what's really going on. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's, it's kind of hard when you just around your friends and you got your family and you might have like, you know, when you going through like middle school and elementary and high school, you got all these people around you and everything and people celebrate you for this and that and that. But then when you actually really like what they were saying, when you get out in the real world, you start looking at things for real, for real, you like, what well, what's all this stuff now? Like, this is for real now. Like, you know what I mean?
So if you already showing little red flags, I'm I could just date. I could just imagine when you get comfortable with me, what that's gonna be. Out of control. So I'm gonna look at that and magnify that times a hundred because that's what it's gonna be when we finally in a relationship. Exactly. And then and motherfucker act like, well, she she didn't act like this before. It was signs you just overlooked. It. Exactly. Little shit turned into big. Shit. Yeah. So when I see that little, call it what you want. Yeah, but that's what I was saying. The little shit. Sometimes you can nip it in the bud. You know what I'm saying? But that's like. <laughs> I guess you, you probably will understand that. You don't like you smoke. <laughs> so you would understand that, right? But somebody that smoke, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? You mad, somebody will cut you off. Man, you finna, man, you finna pull up on me. You finna do it to him, right? Man, you like, man, let me get my cigarette. Are you, let me get my. You like, man, let me get this. I ain't got time for this. Sometimes that, that'd be the, that'd be the go. Sometimes people be like, man, let me put the water. They be like sips tea. Sometimes people they sip their little tea. Some people they gotta do their breathing exercises. But everybody got their own little thing. Find your thing, right? You know what I'm saying? Find your thing to find peace with inside. That was what I'm saying. Sometimes you gotta meditate if that's what you do. Me, like I said, I like going for a walk, right? So you just find your little thing. I'm done. Yeah, it's enough women out here who ain't showing no little signs exactly. for me to be having to put up with that. Exactly. Plus, I've been with enough women. Yeah. I know little shit always turn into big. Exactly. It's always signs. Hey, that's facts. And then, anytime I say some shit like, oh, but you be cutting off too quick with the wood, I saw I know you don't get no business. You know what I'm saying? Because if you experienced enough women, you would know Man. how to f they act. You know what I'm saying? Right. You would, yeah, maybe I did miss that one. But as far as I'm concerned, she missed me. You know that's what, what I'm saying, saying though. Like, I don't, now, before when I was younger, bro, I, my status wasn't at where it's at now. My money wasn't at where, where it's at now. All those things, like, I would. It don't matter about status or money. It only matter about the vibe. Only about the vibe. You can't replace the vibe, right? Your sweet grandmother's vibe. You can't replace that vibe, that love that she showed, that peace. You can't replace that. So in a world full of chaos, in a world full of distractions, all other stuff, you can't replace a peaceful vibe, right? It's like having a dog or a cat, right? It's you can't replace the kid. You can't replace the vibe. That's the main part. It don't matter about the status or the money. I'm telling you that right now. I would probably think that to myself. Now it's like to the point where it's like, bro, I don't, like you said, I'm, I'm thinking about me. Yeah. I, and you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it, it, they brainwashed me to believe that the bitch was the prize at one point. That's, that's the the point. moment I figured out that niggas is the prize, I mean, not every it's called <laughs> It's called a great female con that the world has put on everybody to make you believe that the woman is more valuable than you. And if you just look at facts and stats, the man is always more valuable. Because what, where does. What? It's equal. It's equal. Because if all the human race was dead, right, and there's only two people left, then you'd have to reprocreate. So it's equal. You need the man and the woman. If it was just a man left, then what the fuck? We all, it, we, uh, it, it, that's it. It gotta be a man and a woman. <laughs> it can't just, it just get, like, come on, bro. If it was, it, it's over with then. It's stupid. It has to, it's equal. It's 50 50. Yin and yang. Like it's the, it's God and the universe together. Like what the fuck, y'all niggas tripping. Y'all niggas tripping, bro. <laughs> y'all niggas tripping, bro. As a woman derives most of her value from her looks. Primary value in society is her looks. And look, so how can something destined to go looks what? <laughs> looks, nigga. I just told you what it was. We talking about the probably creation of life, bro. That's what we talking about. We ain't talking about no dang looks, bro. You man, you gonna end up coming out di looking different each time anyway, man. Every generation, and people just start changing and forming and morphing, man. People got more arms and more legs, man. Like whatever gonna happen, that that's mutation, man. That's over time. That's evolution, bro. Ain't nobody worried about that. Ain't about no damn looks, boy. <laughs> man, what? Way make you more valuable exactly, than you, right? Because looks are going to fade. Exactly. Ooh, so the only thing you have a value is going like to go as a go. man. You what always have value. Yeah. You know, based Excellent. on what you're doing. It don't matter if a woman is successful, this, that, and the third. She still holds <laughs> not the same value in society as a man. That's so if the one thing that you step and hold your value to is something that's destined to go away, how valuable are you really? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Don't give a. F 
you got a, a, all this money. We don't give a if you got a nice car. We don't give a f- none of that. Sh- and, and it's funny because just be trying to name that stuff sh- like as if that's something I give up as if that's something that makes you more attractive. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. The only thing that initially gets me is how you can look. You know what I'm saying? So if that sh- is faded, like you said, at some point, like there, you have no value, and most of like they don't bring other value besides the looks like we was talking you know why they don't bring any other value because they spent their whole life working on their looks so much time that they didn't work on other parts of their character and their personality and their skills so you done spent all your life working on your looks only you neglected your character your personality this that and the third you know what i'm saying so yeah so then when the phase when the looks fade you have nothing else to stand on yeah you know what i'm saying yeah that's guess what a woman like you just said a woman be with a dude why would a man worry about his looks? I don't understand. It don't even make sense. Dude, all day. Just take some stupid. Dude ain't finna say you just said some stupid. Exactly, right? So, they never get checked for it. Yeah, yeah, man. They never had to develop a personality, be charismatic, and, yeah. you know, have okay. emotional intelligence. You know how you said, oh, you shouldn't get into illogical conversations with. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're conversating. Like you just, I mean, a nigga you just do named, whatever you want to do. No, but listen, you just named a perfect scenario where bit do at least for me, bro. When bit do stupid sh- like that, now you kind of bringing me into it, and it's like she kind of puts me in a position where it's like if I don't say something, she gonna think she gonna run over me. That's how I feel in certain situations. I feel like I gotta put it, and, and, and if I and, and even whether or not I say it, and whatever result happens after that, I don't really give. A- if she gets mad, I don't care. Cool. I don't want to be with you anyways. I'll go to. No, right. no, no, if you if you if you do if you are cool with it, could we get well, well, each other? That, you know what I'm saying? That ain't what you said. What you said was the and my pretty. That's I just different. gave you a good example. Okay. I, mean, I gave you the best example I could think of. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you don't yeah. want to you don't want to give tacit approval, and tacit approval is the fact that you don't say something would make the person believe that you agree because you didn't say anything and you didn't say you didn't agree with what they said. Man, it all depends on the conversation. It all depends on the situation. I th- it don't matter what they think. It don't matter if they agree with it. It don't matter if they think you agree with it. It don't matter if they think you disagree with it. That shit don't matter. It don't matter what they think. That's my whole point behind it. It don't matter. Like when you start thinking in your head that you're thinking that this person or what this person is thinking about, about what you're thinking about or, or what you got going on or what they got going on or what they think about a subject or a topic. Now you all in your head. Now you causing confusion. The only thing that causes confusion is the devil. That's a bunch of brain fog and a, b- a bunch of bullshit going on like this. It's like, why are you even getting into that? Like, I don't care if you believe I'm the whatever, whatever. I don't care if you believe this. I don't care if you believe that. It don't even matter. I wouldn't even be thinking about it if I was you. That's going to stop you from being your best self. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't think about it like that. Because you start thinking like it, and then you can't show unconditional love because you feel like somebody doing something or thinking about you in a certain type of way. You can't show unconditional love that way. Because that's the opposite, right? Like, you just treat people as if it's their first time meeting them every single time. Try that. Watch what happens. Treat them like they the most special person on earth every time, regardless of the past mistakes. Treat them like you just met them. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, what's good? What we doing today? Like the same way how you treat Brent when you see Brent. Hey, what up, Brent? Man, I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. What, what good, man? Uh, the same. Give everybody that same approach, and watch what happens. The whole world start turning magical for you. Even the women, even the ones that did you dirty. What's up? What's up, girl? What's up, sis? What up, man? What up? You know what I'm saying? Let all that past stuff go. Let all that hurt go. Let that jump go. Don't even talk about it. like you said. Like get to the next subject. What's going on today? What's going on right now? What what, what, what we getting into? What, what we going to? What we you know what I mean? Let all that past stuff go. There's no reason for you to hold any of that. There's no reason for you to think of any of that. Like you said, somebody say something. All right, cool. That's how they, their opinion. That's how they think. All right, cool. Well, I ain't got nothing to say about that. All right, cool. Don't even think about it. I ain't, I ain't even hear them. I ain't what they said. Hear no evil. See no evil. Speak no evil. Like we we don't even. I ain't even, I ain't even know. Huh? I don't know what's going on. It's like you gotta be smart and dumb at the same time, you feel me? If you really wanna, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna have your peace in this in this life, <laughs> you gotta be smart and dumb at the same time. Huh? 
feel like you're the same. You gotta, you gotta, I feel like you're checking. You gotta tell me what it is, though. You gotta tell me, yeah. like, what, what did she say? What, what is the topic of the conversation? This is a perfect example. I'm trying to okay? tell Chris. And then I see this happen so many times with almost everybody. I gotta do this with every, mm. honestly, like, and it's always initially. And this is the deciding factor. That. Like you said, I can't wait. I can't wait to look, do some shit like this because I don't give a what happens after this. Right, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. If, if, if you get mad at me about how, what I say after this, that tells me everything I need to know. If you get mad, cool. I didn't want to deal with it like you anyways. Yeah. Be- and that's how she's she thinking the same thing about you. She's saying it back the same way. Like, I'm telling you, like, mental the brain, bro, you ain't got to say nothing. All you got to do is think it. She's going to end up doing it. They so connected to the matrix. They so connected. All you got to do is think it. And it, it's going to happen. Like, especially if she, like he said, if she rocking with you, she gonna read your brain. She gonna read your mind. She know exactly what you want. She know exactly what you need right now. Be like, oh, I want some water. Like you ain't gotta tell her. You ain't gotta say, hey, babe, you go get me some water. You just sit there and think it. Hey, like think in your head, babe. I want you to go give me some water. Just keep thinking it, babe. I want you to give me some water. She gonna look at you. She gonna like, I think I want some water. You want some water? Like you gonna be like, oh shoot. I'm telling y'all, the Matrix, bro. You can, you can, you can literally control this thing with your brain, dog. Like, it's crazy. I done did it so many times. And it's like, I try to explain this to people, but when you actually do it, that's when you're going to get your realization. You're going to get awakening. Watch. You're going to get awakening. Watch. And that's how essentially magicians would be like, uh, pick a car, grab a car. I bet you I can guess what car letter you got or whatever. I bet you I can guess it. That's all it is. It's in a brain connection. But you got to be at peace to connect to that. Like, so if in your head, you're jumping around and you're jumping to this conclusion, to that co- conclusion, to this, to that, to that. You're not going to speak correctly. So then when she receives whatever the message you give her, it's going to seem as if you're trying to go back and forth with her. So you got to create that peace in your mind. The easiest way to create the peace in the mind um, while you're in some type of situation like that is like you got to literally listen to what the person is saying. Like, literally listen to them. So that way, at the at the end of the conversation, you can literally repeat back what they said. You can tell them back what they said, and then that way they feel like you understood them. You know what I mean? We learned this in English class, in literature. You know what I mean? So when somebody says something to you, you repeat it back. You tell them that you understand. That way you can make them feel like they're reassured that you understand exactly what they meant. And then if you didn't, they can correct you, right? That's part of communication, right? Come on now. Because if you get mad at me for, for having respect for myself, I don't want your ass anyways. And if you don't you get mad at me, you're laughing, up, then I'll okay, cool, you a submissive and keep going. Can't like, hype it's not your first game or some up. link up, whatever. She'll say some disrespectful cool. shit. Like she'll order me around or something. You know what I'm saying? Like she'll like she'll try to say some shit like that's like like shut up. Yeah, like It don't matter if she ah uh, in your face. You can't get don't you gotta stay cool, calm and collective. The only time you hype up is if it's life or death situation. That's all I got to say. If it's life or death, hype up. You feel me? Hype up. Other than that, you never hype up on, on another human being. Keep it calm, collective, and peaceful as possible. That way you don't create trauma in your brain. You feel me? Because it'll catch up to you as you get older. Just saying. So keep it calm and peaceful. That way you ain't got to look over your shoulders and do this and that. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Shut up. No, or I'm like, or I'll be like, oh, don't act like a bitch. Watch your words. Like, oh, you right. If they say some like that, I'm like, wait, hold on. I'll stop the whole conversation. I'll be like, look, what'd you say? Listen, like, she be like, honestly, she be honestly, like, don't, don't. honestly, if a woman ever called me a bitch, there ain't no coming back from that. That nah, ain't no yeah. something like that. Call me. I was just yeah. stop acting like. I've never had a woman say something so disrespectful yeah, nah, to me. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm trying that's to fathom. Crazy. I'm trying to fathom it. I, 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 it's hard to fathom, but let's just yeah. say that's not like, oh, if she says shut up or something like that, that could be corrected. A woman says something like that to me, ain't no coming back from that. Yeah, but I, honestly, I, I, bro, I, I might not even say something. If I'm driving, I'm going to probably just go back to where I picked her up from. I swear to God. Because <laughs> yeah. there's no way that I can feel comfortable checking that. Like, what do you say to something yeah, so disrespectful? But honestly, bro, I, I don't even think that's a, a scenario that's really happened to me either. I'll just go with shut up because if they tell me to shut up, I'm going to say the same. I'll do some shit like in the mob. like, yo, don't ever talk to me. Don't tell me to shut up. I'm not one of your girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? Just that. Nah, nah, nah. She tell you to shut up. Just shut up. Tell you to shut up. Just shut up. For real, for real. She tell you to shut up, bro. Just shut up. Like, it ain't any, like, you already know you can slam her on her neck and break her face in, right? That ain't even the question, right? <laughs> that's not even the question. Obviously, right? She tell you, shut up, just shut up, bro. That means you're getting on nerves, bro. So to ease the conversation, to make sure that everything go peacefully, just shut up, bro. Trust me, bro. You'll win, you'll win that situation. 
But the thing is, though, like like he said, though, if you if you catch them red flags in the beginning, you won't have to end up to that far, to that, to that disrespect. You know what I'm saying? You won't get that far. It's like, but if you're going off to what you were saying, the looks, you can't go off the looks, dude. If you're going off the looks, you're going, you're going, you're going to fail every time. And I say calm too. I don't even get, yeah, I don't yeah, get yeah. mad. I mean, I mean, listen to me. Look, I'm, I know. I'm gonna give her a chance that we think it because as soon as she say that, we gonna stop. And I'm gonna just look at her for a minute. And hopefully, she, you know, because yeah, 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 yeah. it's the thing that these women just say. You know, that's just so casual that they say. So I always I stop first. And most of the time, they clean it up. Okay, mm-hmm. you know. But if they mm-hmm. don't, I'm gonna let her know. Like that's disrespectful. Don't speak to me. Yeah. Especially if they feel like it's disrespectful. Oh my bad, I didn't mean that. Or that's not what I'm. Yeah, they, they'll try to clean them up. Like he said, some of them don't know home training, or they ain't had no home training. Their daddy went in their life, so they don't, they don't know what the fuck going on. They gonna talk to you any type of way. She had brothers, and her brothers you talk to her any type of way, or it's like God, man, you know what I mean? You know how that shit go. But so you never know what's going on. Like I said, but you can't judge her off the past. You see what I'm saying? You can't judge them. You just gotta tell them, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like stuff like that. Just the same vice versa. If she don't like something that you're doing, she gonna tell you, she gonna be like, bro, I don't like that stuff you doing. And what you wanna do is you wanna try to adjust. Cause if you don't adjust, obviously she gonna find another nigga, right? Or she can play you and find another one. She got both of y'all at the same time. You feel me? It is what it is. What you wanna do? They gonna win regardless of what I'm saying. You gotta make sure that you just keep calm and peaceful. <laughs> For real. I'm t- promise you, man. In that way. Yeah, yeah. We good? You know, because I understand. You ever had to get mad though in those situations? To be like, oh, what? Well, ew. Like, there's some. I have a bitch. I like, if a bitch is like that, I'm I'm had, I've had a woman be like, I ain't mean it like that. Like, it ain't just. Exactly. You know, I've had a woman they say that. So, so, when they start doing that, what, you, what do you say? I let them know. Well, check this out. If you want to continue with me, then I don't want you to talk to me like that. Now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I'm saying, I be saying so, the same shit. Yeah. It, 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 it ain't finna get crazy in here. Exactly. You can oblige by my rules if you wanna f me. And if you don't, that's fine. There's a million niggas out here that's gonna accept you talking to them how you want. Exactly. You gonna find one of them and I can drop you off right now. It's exactly. whatever you wanna do, baby. Exactly. It's that simple. Yeah. They be scared, bro. They be asking Something me like, real. yo, bro, this girl said this, what do I say? And I'll tell them like, bro, you gotta check it for that shit. And I'll tell them exactly what to say and they be like, damn, if I say that, I feel like she gonna leave. See, that's the problem. You need to get that scarcity mindset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what's the alternative? You just gonna let her disrespect you? Right. And then you're not gonna get the p- anyways? Yeah, yeah. I guess it all comes down to self-respect too. But if you ain't got no self-respect, it's hard to make somebody respect you. That's me. In the life of a game, sometimes you gotta make a take a plan B. Sometimes you be in the moment, you be loaded, right? You be drunk off your ass, and then the girls sit there and like, oh my God, nothing me, nothing. What, McQueen? Oh, we got the whole thing. But nah, that was a bar at the end. I ain't gonna count. Definitely gotta have self respect. Who am I talking to? Talking to these? Damn. Take this damn plan, baby. <laughs> ain't no way. Let me see that. Shit. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Let me see that. Shit. Open your mouth. No. No, nah, let me see under your tongue. Let me see. Let me see under your. Ain't no way. Tongue, man. Stop playing with me. You're not hiding it under the tongue? Are you not hiding under the tongue? Let me see. You're not like bubble baths from SpongeBob. You just take, put the goddamn drink down. Let right. me see, honey. Open your mouth. Thank you, bitch. Uh, what? If you want to have ultimate, <laughs> eternal, everlasting confidence and be in the best shape of your life. But man, the queen is crazy, bro. You don't need to be wearing that girl, I'll tell you that right now. Trouble. I'm sniffing trouble. What is this? Hey, man. Who better to learn from on how to talk to the queen? Type shit. You know what I'm trying to say? Type shit. Type shit. Who better? I know you see you over here. Yeah. I used to just throw any ass. I know you see you on the brain now, straight as hell. Type shit. Who better, who better to learn from how to get to say the McQueen? Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, be a good sport. <laughs> like, okay, okay, like I said, make sure you guys. Jo- that was cool. See y'all next one. We out, man. Peace.